Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nikki with MontanaCrochetCreations.com. Today I'm gonna teach you this little stitch pattern that I've been working on recently, making a really pretty like blanket for it. So I decided to do a little swatch um, and share it with you. It is alternating rows of the star stitch and double crochet. I think that it turned out just absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the different textures and the different look of the two stitches that alternate throughout the entire project right here. So you've got like your star stitch and then your double crochet. You can turn this stitch pattern into a ton of different projects. Um, I feel like this would make a really beautiful blanket. It would make a fantastic a washcloth or dishcloth if you used cotton yarn. You could turn it into a really pretty set of face cloths and put it in a nice dish and give to someone as a gift. Um, so the possibilities of this project are completely limitless. So you can turn this into anything. So what you're going to need um, is your yarn that you're going to choose and you're going to base your yarn or your crochet hook off of the weight of your yarn. Like this was a, a lightweight number three yarn that I used for this little sample piece here. So I used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook because that's what um, my yarn called for, but you're want, going to want to use whatever coordinating hook that will go with your yarn. So go ahead, pick out your yarn, get your crochet hook and all your supplies that you will need, and we'll get started on this beautiful um, star stitch and double crochet pattern here. Let's get started on this beautiful stitch pattern here. So I started with my slip stitch. And I'm going to chain in multiples of two. So there's two until I get it to the length that I want. So there's Two more, two more, two more, and we'll stop there because this is just going to be a sample piece here showing you how to do this. So now we're going to chain one, and then now we're going to chain six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and we have six. So we're going to go into our second chain from our hook. So not this first chain right here, but this very next chain. And we're going to insert our hook, make sure you grab all that yarn, and we're going to draw up our loop. Now I'm going to go into my next chain, let me yarn over and draw up my loop there as well. Let me go into my next chain here, yarn over, draw up my loop, and I'm gonna do this till I have six loops on my hook here. So we're going into the next one, drawing up our loop, and I like to pull it a little bit to make that loop a little bit taller. And then I'm gonna do my very last one. So now if you can see, I have six chains here on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six of those chains. And then I'm going to chain one. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go into this space right here where I just chained one. I'm going to insert our hook and then we are going to draw up our loop there. Now we're going to go into this very last stitch here from this cluster. So we're going to grab that, yarn over and draw up our loop. Now we have our three loops on our hook right here. We're going to go into our next three chains yarn over, draw up our loop, go into our next chain, yarn over, pull our loop up. Now we have five, and then we're going to go into our very last one here and draw up our loop. So now we have our six loops on our hook. We yarn over and pull through all six, and we're going to chain one. We're going to repeat that all the way until we get to the very end over here and then we'll have one chain left and then I'll show you what we're gonna do when we come have that one chain left. All right, so I'm at my very last stitch and we're going to place a half double crochet in that very last stitch right there. And we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work right here. And then this is what we have so far. So basically 
what we have is our first row, which is the star stitch. And then we're going to do a row in between of each of these. And this is a two row pattern, like literally a two stitch repeat pattern for as long and as tall as you want your project to be. So uh, we're gonna chain one and we're turning our work here, just like that. Now that we've turned our work, we're going to chain one again. And then you can see right here, we've got this little space right here that is part of our star stitch. So we're gonna go into that, that's our chain one. When we would pull everything together and then we would chain one, that's the space we're going into. And we're going to place two double crochet here. So there's one, and now we're going to place one more double crochet. Just like that. Now we're going to go into this very next chain one space right here. You can see that. We're gonna place two double crochet. There's one, and oops, and now we have two. Well, maybe if I can keep that on my hook. I'm going to move on to the next little chain space that we have right here. Right there, you can see it. We move on to that. I'm going to place two double crochet. And we're going to repeat this all the way to the very end. So I placed my last two double crochet and I'm gonna come over here and we've got our first cluster from the previous round. I'm going to yarn over and place a double crochet into that very first stitch here. We're going to create our double crochet. Now we have finished off round two for this stitch pattern. And if you turn it around this way, you can see our beautiful star stitch on the bottom, and then on the next row, we have our group of the double crochet clusters here, or our two double crochets in each stitch. We're gonna chain four, so one, or chain three, and then we're turning our work. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go into each chain here, and we're drawing up our loop. We're gonna go into the next chain, draw up our loop, and into our last chain and draw up our loop here. Now I have my four loops on my hook. I'm gonna go into my next one, draw up my loop, and into the next one and draw up my loop. I now have my six loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all six. Then I'm gonna chain one. So for row three, we're basically going to repeat our very first row. So we're going into that chain one space, and pulling up our loop. We're going into our stitch here, pulling up our loop, and then we're going into that very first stitch at the bottom of our cluster. We're gonna pull up our loop. Now we have our four loops. We're gonna do that two more times. So we have a total of six loops on our hook. And now we have all six of our loops. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all six loops. We're gonna yarn over, or yarn over and then chain one. So we're inserting again, pulling up our loop, going into our very first stitch, pulling up our loop, into the next, and we're gonna do that till we have six loops on our hook. And now we have all six of our loops on our hook. We're going to pull through all six loops. Oops, don't lose them, because then you'd have to start all over, just like that, and then chain one. And then we're just going to continue working this all the way to the end. And we're gonna work our patterns in between row one and row two for as long as we want our project to be. I just, I love the way this looks. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. So keep working that 
all the way till your project is as big as you want it and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. All right and there we have it. I finished my little swatch here. I love the different variations between the star stitch and your row of double crochet. I think it gives this stitch pattern here a really unique look to it. This would make a really beautiful baby blanket. Uh, you could change up the colors for boys or girls. And um, depending on what color you would make, the star stitch I think would just be the perfect addition to any of these. This would also be a really nice like little throw blanket. If you used this um, with cotton yarn, you could turn this into a really pretty like dishcloth or turn them into like little face cloths and things like that. Um, I do though, I just, I really love the difference between the star stitch right here and the row of double crochet. So what do you guys all think about this stitch pattern right here? Leave it down in the comments below. Um, I also, I would love to see your projects that you create with these. So make sure you guys post those down below as well. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy this tutorial for this uh, little stitch pattern here for the star stitch and double crochet alternating. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell as I post tutorials here every single week. And if you really like what I do, make sure you consider hitting that join button where you will get early access to all of my tutorials that I'm posting. I love you guys all so very much, and I will see you in my next video.